What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be doing a Black Ops 4 Zombies video and this is update 1.07. When it comes to the map Blood of the Dead, a lot of the other glitches that we've been using in the glitch series have been patched over. The last Infinite Ragnaroks video that I did just cover this last week still works. The spot that I chose here down in the Citadel still works. So right now, down in the comment section, let me know what's your current rank in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'd really like to know. I'm currently Prestige Master, level 75, on my way to level 1000. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to activate the Ragnarok DG5s as your special weapon. That's what you're going to need to know before you get set up. And as an addition, Wraithfire grenades will help you. So the glitch we're going to be looking at is the Infinite Ragnaroks glitch. We're going to have a double XP weekend coming up, and I'm not sure if Treyarch's going to be patching this over before then. So you're going to need the Blunder Gap from the Mystery Box. This is how you do it. I'm going to teach you really fast the method, and then we're going to talk about the patch notes just a little bit, because I will have a video on the channel. It will be uploaded right after this one of all the patch notes. So let's collect all the parts to the Acid Gat. First one is in Sally's Port. The next one is going to be in the infirmary. We're going to pick up that piece. There's three parts total to the acid gat. The third piece is in the transverse tunnels. So we're going to pick that up. Now we have all three pieces. Now we need to get rid of our shield. You've probably gotten a shield if you're building Pack-A-Punch. You need Pack-A-Punch so you can get rid of your secondary weapon, which is the next step. So we've gotten rid of our shield. We're heading to Pack-A-Punch so we can get rid of that secondary weapon. Don't worry if you've upgraded it. Just add a module to it and don't pick it up. So, we're going to build the Acid Gat now that we're ready and prepared. We have all the parts. We no do not have a shield. We do not have a secondary weapon. We only have the Blunder Gat. So, we place the Blunder Gat into the Acid Gat kit, and it gives us crosshairs. Now, we could jump into any pileup that's working in Update 1.07. You don't only have to go to the one that I'm showing you right now. It's just the one that we currently know still works. So, we're going to hop down here into the Citadel, and right on this platform above the spiral staircases we can jump onto this ledge. It's the wooden planks right here and there is an invisible wall barrier we can hop onto. After you have the crosshairs, no weapons in hands, and you activate your special, it will be infinite. So now we have infinite Ragnaroks and we can just sit here and go round after round ranking up XP. So there was an update I want to talk about with update 107. When killing zombies with the Ragnarok DG5, that crash has now been fixed. So we did get a buff on the Ragnaroks. Everything's looking smooth. The next thing I want to talk about are some exploits that were patched here in Blood of the Dead and as well as classified. Michigan Avenue that allowed players to use the Ragnarok DG5 to jump on the railing on the top floor. So that's been patched over and I believe that is the cage door. I did try that earlier and I couldn't get onto it. So the cell block door has been patched over. So we now have limited spots here on Blood of the Dead. So this conversation for the rest of this video is just sort of where we're at and what we're doing in Update 1.07 on the channel. In case you're new, you haven't come across this channel before, I cover updates, patch notes, and the latest in glitches. So when I'm not uploading every day, it's because the ones I've currently uploaded are still the best ones or I'm working on the next great one. So be sure to subscribe, activate that bell notification so you stay up to date with all the latest videos happening here in the zombies community. So on the channel I have two series going right now, patch notes and updates as we move throughout the entire season, the Black Ops Pass, and also a glitch series updating as we move along throughout these patches. So they go hand in hand, they work really well. The third series that I haven't started yet is because it's not implemented yet into the zombies mode. We're going to be having factions, we're also going to be having daily callings, there's going to be something wrapped around with that, so I will be creating a series here once we get to that point in Black Ops 4 Zombies. So I'm really excited about the future and what we got for DLC updates coming. With DLC 1, we got a current rumor right now from a Treyarch employee that did get fired that was a QA tester. And those leaks have shown that we're going to be going to a DLC 1 haunted mansion. And this mansion is going to have ghosts and werewolves, according to the leaks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free. I'd love to have you along. But I'll see you in the next video. Let me know your current rank in Black Ops 4 Zombies down in the comment section. I'll see you next time. Violin out.